Please consider the following. There are hierarchies of order at all levels. Subatomic particles become atoms. Atoms become molecules. Molecules become cells. Cells become organelles. Organelles become organs. Organs become a body. That body exists within a population. Now, consider the function of cellular membranes, of skin, and of borders. There are undifferentiated life forms that are the same throughout all of their body. And although these life forms occasionally surprise and amaze us, by and large, they are not, as far as we can tell, of a high level of sophistication. It turns out that if you want to build an interesting adaptive functional machine, it's good to have differentiated parts within it that have different functions. Your liver has liver business to deal with. If you put your liver in your lung, neither will function optimally. Every cell of your body has a function. It has a job. It has a specialization, even if that's the adaptability of a stem cell. That is what it does. And you don't compare a kidney cell to a brain cell because they're doing different things. And by being in different places, in different environments, with different neighbors, they find their job easier to do. There are redundancies in the human body. You can spare a kidney or a lung. But that's not to say that each of your lungs is not equally valuable. There are seemingly useless and vestigial elements of the human body that we discover on further study actually do have a function. The bacteria in your appendix would be the best example. We could cut out the appendix and suffer for it. What this leaves us with is an argument for the preservation of the differentiation of the various functions of the different populations of humanity. And there's a question that comes along with this. Whenever it comes time for the human race to leave the earth, to stride out into the cosmos, as a galactic being, are we to do so as a unicellular organism, a blob of undifferentiated stuff, or are we to be a being with a brain to think and hands to build and a heart to feel?